Hey everyone, it's Kothis, and today I wanted to show my Arc Titan build that I've been using to clear GMs this season. This build is so good that there's nothing else that comes close to it. You can seriously use it anywhere you want, and it will destroy everything. In this video, I will show you not only how this build works, but also give some alternative recommendations to mods if you're missing any. And just a disclaimer, I'm not claiming to have invented this build. This is what pretty much everyone in high-end content is running right now. So with that out of the way, let's just get right into into it. Let's start off with the subclass screen itself and how you should have it set up. Thundercrash is the preferred super here, it's just better than Fists of Havoc as of right now. As for the class ability, I personally like Thruster, but you can use a barricade if you want, it doesn't really matter. Thunderclap is my preferred melee. Again, it doesn't really matter what you use here, I just like Thunderclap for the damage, the range, it's awesome when you get used to it. Now, Storm Grenades are a must here. No other grenade comes close. Don't even think about putting on another grenade, just use Storm Grenades. As for the aspects, let's throw on Knockout. Thunderclapping and killing enemies will trigger health regeneration, and Knockout also buffs our melee damage and range. You can use Juggernaut if you want. I just like Knockout a little bit better. I think it fits a little bit more into this playstyle and this build. Touch of Thunder is the next crucial component to this build, so make sure you have this equipped. Our Storm Grenade gets cranked to 11 and will become a literal thunderstorm that tracks enemies. Finishing up with Fragments, let's throw on Spark of Shock to jolt any enemies damaged by Arc Grenades, which is pretty much everything. Spark of Ions will generate an Ionic Trace for defeating those jolted enemies. Collecting these is going to make our grenade come back even faster. Seriously, this gets just crazier the further and further we get into this video. Spark of Resistance will help make us more tanky, and Spark of Magnitude makes our already supercharged Storm Grenade even stronger by increasing the duration that it stays around. Now that we know how to set up the subclass, let's cover the core exotic and combat style armor mods. The centerpiece of this build is the Heart of Inmost Light. This is the best Titan exotic in the game. I normally don't like using universal statements like this, but it really is the best. It can be used on any subclass. It dramatically powers up each ability and also shortens the cooldown duration of all your abilities. This is the most crucial part to the build, so if you just have this, you can kind of get away with this build actually. Thankfully, you can get it from Lost Sectors when it's chest day, and I know a lot of my viewers here are newer players, so just so you know, when you're running these Legend and Master Lost Sectors, the game will automatically give you exotics that you don't have yet until you have all of them. So this is your somewhat guaranteed way to get it as long as you get enough Lost Sectors done. Moving on, let's talk mods. Best case scenario, you'll have Elemental Ordnance, Elemental Charge, and three Firepower mods. Elemental Ordnance is our Elemental Well Generator. All you need to do is get a grenade kill, and an Elemental Well matching your subclass will spawn. And we'll obviously be running Arc in this video. Picking up these Elemental Wells will charge us with light by using Elemental Charge. And since the Arc Well matches our Arc subclass, we'll actually get two stacks of Charge with light. Finally, when we throw our grenade, we'll instantly get around 50% of our grenade back by using the three firepower mods. The more firepower mods you have, the bigger the effect, and three is the most we can fit in this build. This will use up one stack of our charge with light, so this means we'll get two grenade throws where we get 50% of our grenade back instantly. And remember that grenade kills will generate arc elemental wells, so you can see this build is just so easy to loot. You can just continuously spam your abilities, it's just very easy, you don't have to think about it too much. So with all of that, pair all of these mods with Heart of Inmost Light's boosted ability regeneration and all of your grenades will come back even faster. You will want to be spamming your abilities as much as possible to get the maximum ability recharge and power. So the way Heart of Inmost Light works is using one ability will charge the other two abilities. So let's just do an example real quick. Activating your class ability will give your melee and grenade abilities times one. And then if you were to activate your melee ability, that would give your grenade ability times two. I know it's a little bit confusing. It takes a little bit of playing around with to fully understand and familiarize yourself with the loop. When in doubt, just use your abilities to keep the constant times two uptime and maximum regeneration speed. It's that easy. Just don't think about it too hard. All right, now let's talk about our armor and a few other mods we can be using too. Starting off with stats, let's make sure to aim for 100 resilience because it's just so good. 40% damage mitigation. Aim for 100 discipline if you can. It's okay if you can't get to 100 discipline, just make sure you get 100 resilience first. We will need three solar pieces since firepower is a solar only mod, and two can be whatever affinity you want since both elemental ordnance and elemental charge are universal mods. 
I'd recommend going solar for your helmet since ashes to assets is also solar. Since we'll be getting so many grenade kills, your super will come back very quickly. For gloves, you can also go solar. Impact induction will lower your grenade cooldown after you get melee damage off, which will be pretty much all the time if you're using Thunderclap, which is yet another way to lower our grenade cooldown. You could also go with stasis gloves here for a grenade kickstart if you want, but it's really not that big of a deal. Either one of these works as long as you can fit three fire powers across all of your gear. Your chest armor can be whatever you want, since you'll most likely be running the double resist mods anyway, which are universal. Boots can also kind of be whatever you want, but Solar does give you Innervation to again give you even more grenade energy when picking up an Orb of Power. And finally, your class item should also be Solar for the Bomber mod. You can run Double Bomber here, but it's kind of overkill at this point. Your grenades are going to come back so quickly that you almost don't even need this. So if you're watching this video in Season 18, you can use the Lightning Strikes Twice mod from the Artifact instead. It's totally up to you, just know that this whole build will work totally fine outside of Season 18 without this mod. Before I head out, I wanted to share some alternate mods you can use for this build. If you don't have firepower, that's completely fine. I'd recommend using two elemental ordnance, one bountiful wells, and anything else you want. Seeking wells is really good here if you have it, because all of the wells will track to you. There are tons of alternative methods that will work just fine here, and if you have a combination that works for you, definitely drop it in the comments so people can see it. Or, if you're still stumped and not really sure what to do, please join my Discord and ask me. We also have some people there that are very knowledgeable and are very happy to answer your questions for you. So we'd be very happy to work with you and set up a build that works. So that's it. You can see from the gameplay that this is just totally crazy. You can do just about anything you want with Arc Titan. Constant ability uptime, constant charge with light uptime, and a very quickly regenerating thunder crash. This is just such a powerful build, in my opinion, the most powerful in the game. I hope this helped you, and please leave me a comment if I wasn't clear on something. This is my first build guide, so I'm sure I've got a lot to learn. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.